Regular folks don't get like, to get to come and go freely across the border. It's all blocked up, unless there's some secret smugglers I don't know about. The only ones allowed to passage are traveling merchants who have obtained special clearances. Must be quite a few of them, too. I see lo lots of goods from Highline making their way here, even with the international tensions the way they are. The Shepherd must know Maltellus, right? If I ever get to meet the Shepherd, I'm going to ask him if Maltellus actually does anybody any good. The howling season is back. Best not to venture out after dark. Life's too precious. Oof, that's suspicious. Akil, are you working? Yeah, data gathering. I need to meet with five informants by the end of the day. Sounds like a lot of work. Egil is like the eyes, ears, and brains for us scattered bones. So then, what are you, Rose? I'm the... the head. I'm the boss at any rate. A head, but not the brains. So you're the skull? Shut up! You're ruining my metaphor! <laughs> well, our boss is more like a goddess of victory. Used to be Little Miss Goddess, of course. Little Miss Goddess? Back when our old boss was around. He used to carry her on his back all the time. Those were good times, weren't they? Yep. Help our comrades and defeat our enemies. It was simple back then. So it was. But things have changed. In the underworld, information is king. Did you find any good leads? A couple. The one they call Shepherd Malfour was originally a priest in the Church of Rolands. It seems he's angling to fill the power vacuum caused by the death of Cardinal Fortin. Figures. And then there's the business with the fake elixir. The church can no longer ignore the situation, and they've started investigating the source. And does that mean that the village chief of Gadadin will... Gadadin? Um, let me explain. I see. So that's what was going on. Egil, do you think the decision I made... The boss's judgment is the Scattered Bones' judgment. But it might require a bit of following up. Yeah, you're right. Let's head over to Gadadin and see how things stand. Thanks. Was that part of the story? I can't believe so, uh, someone they were calling a miracle worker could be struck down so suddenly like that. Poor Cardinal. Guess you can't be certain of anything in this life, except maybe how menacing the scared bones are. That much is certain. Why is the talk bubble so, range so sensitive? The quantity and variety of goods coming into the capital is definitely falling off. It's not like people are going to sh uh, short food yet, but things are more difficult than they were. Finally, I get to say something positive about the wearer. I wish, I wish we could say the same about everything else. There, there's Cardinal Fortin's sudden death and the rumors of War of Highland. It gives me the shivers. But right here, you're opening up shop again. I'll drop in as often as I can. Things are definitely looking up for us. I guess these things were, have been in every age. It's not like it was desperately peaceful when we were young either. I do surely wish they'd spare us this war, though. I wonder how the people in Highland feel about it. Great news, you'll be able to open up shop again. I'll have to go and show my gratitude to Maltellus as well. If you need anything at all, you come see us and be we'll be sure to tend to your needs. Hey, wanna go ask them about the iris gems? Alrighty, I'll go ask. Will you be alright? They look pretty sketchy. Leave it to me. All merchants are like family. Money keeps us together. Are you sure about this? Let's just leave it to Rose. We're not savvy enough to know when we're being tricked. Yeah, speak for yourself. I got it. They said they saw an iris gem in the ruins north of here. A ruin in the north? Weird. Why do they keep laughing? Are they laughing at me? They think you're a phony shepherd and that I'm a victim of your con artistry. They've got it wrong. It can't be helped. There are many who claim to be the shepherds. But still, 
To be treated like a con artist? No point in arguing with them. Yeah. It's way better to be laughed at than to be frightened of. Thank you for taking the time to come today. Lo, I am the Shepherd, Malfor. Hey, tell me, Shepherd. Is it really true that you saved the plagued city? Oh, it was nothing. I just helped the Princess of Highland a little by building a bridge in a single day. Then what about the Battle of Glavend? Did you really stop the war? Why, it was easy. All I did was tell them that this isn't the time to be quarreling with one another. It was a hard battle, but I was able to gain support from the Roland's Night Squad. Isn't that Captain Sergei from the Platinum Knights? Then it might not completely be a lie. <laughs> Luckily, I managed to do it without getting caught. <sighs> I suppose the Knights wouldn't just let some mere imposter do as he pleases. Blackmail? So you mean to say this bloke must be... an actual shepherd? It matters not what I am. But please, no matter what, believe in the blessing of the Seraphim. That is the only way to bring salvation to this world. If the people desire it so, I, the Shepherd Malfour, shall put my life on the line to deliver their prayers. Shepherd Malfour! Shepherd Malfour! May the Seraphim's blessing cover the world. This is ridiculous. Saray's the one who did those things. And I'm sure Sergei knows that, too. There must be a reason. Probably. So the knights are your witnesses, is what you're saying. There's a stack of evidence that points to the shepherd being here. I believe it- I do. Making an offering is no great sacrifice. If all it makes- it, if it all makes a difference. Church has been floundering since the loss of the Cardinal, after all. Haha, <laughs> in order to secure the Seraphim's blessing, we need an appropriate vessel and someone to conduct the blessing ceremony. Everyone, your donations, please. Every little bit helps. Yep, he's fleecing them. Ugh. I have no excuse. Forgive me, sorry. Please wait, Shepherd Soray. There's a reason behind Malfour's actions. I'm sure. I trust Sergei. We're quite unsure how he worked his way in, but Malfour has been a favorite of General Tuller. And so, the General has ordered the Night Squad to protect the Shepherd, Malfour. That's the reason? They are just pawns of the Empire, after all. General Tuller also has a close relationship with the Imperial Majesty, and no more excuses! Whatever the reason is, it is clear I have sullied your honor. I can only apologize. <laughs> Not sure I had honor to start with. Anyway, it was nice to see that people expect so much from the Shepherd. It's a good sign. What a gentleman. Gentlemen, Schmettelman, what were you doing just standing around? I'm afraid I could do not. Knowing all the while who the true shepherd was. Looks like they took advantage of just how earnest you are. It's pretty ironic. The less affected by malevolence you are, the harder it is to live an honest life. Such is the human condition, I suppose. Even so, that is how humans live. It's tough. You think those kids ever stopped their banditry? Well, well, they're still active. We probably hear about it in Lesson Bell. If you're curious, why don't we, we, why don't we ask around a bit? That was a side quest, huh? Let's get looking for trial shrines. Well, steering clear to more powerful domains, I hope. You remember the locations of the trial shrines, right? If you ever forget, check the mural on the wall where our old hideout was. Got it? We can go back there? We need to go back to Highland. Oh yeah, because one of the trials was over in the Lake Haven area, right? It used to be the merchant guilds and government contractors and stuff could cross the border without much tr trouble, but their stupid war is gumming the whole thing up. 
Hmm, I did hear some rumors, though, of a hidden route that bypasses the basement, uh, basin somewhere south of Bolgrand Forest. Might be overshot. Berg, give Gramps back his pipe. It's a fantastic piece of work. I bet he misses it. I know I sure would. No time like a present. Let's put a smile on his face. The howling season. What on earth? Not a clue. Uh, but I know a howl from my stomach when I hear it. Let's get... Uh, 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 let's make a beeline for our nearest inn. I know I could use some dinner. Sun for the Irish Gems at Gafferis Ruins. Works for me, so it's off to, uh, uh, to the ruins north of Pendrago then. Heard anything about Lay Lake recently? Some things, yeah. It might be a b uh, typical city problems, but still, there's no shortage of trouble lately. A lot of pickpocketing re reports of police brutality, general social unrest. We we'd have to go there to get the full story, though. I wonder how Godun and his chief are getting on. I s feel like we have a duty to check up on them. What do you say we say go, go say hi to the village chief? Can't just let those crucibles us there. You think the church back in Pendrago is doing okay? Weekly services followed by tea and cake. I'd wager, for better or worse, it's a massive organization, too big to fail. If you're concerned, we could always go check on them. So many things to worry about. I just noticed, whenever Miklio gets angry, it always has something to do with Saray. What? That's not true. Then what's with that response? Come on, you guys are family. You're not going to sleep yet? Yeah. I want to take a look around the city. It's so quiet that I can feel the gravity of this city's history. Fitting for an ancient capital born from the height of the era of Asgard. It's kind of dawning on me. The things we read about in books actually exist. Ah, uh, what a poem this would make if we were travelers of old. A poem? Ah, Pendrago, where the evening lights are blinding sights. Come on. Okay, it wasn't great. But I gotta start somewhere, right? What the? What was that? Quit it, Miklio. It wasn't me. Let's check outside. Oh boy. Was that Howell just now? Him? I'm not sure, but this doesn't feel like his domain. Could it really be? Did you hear that too, random knight? It's quite- it's a quiet night, I've got a strange flaring feeling in my chest. Is fire time finally catching up with me? There! Not Kitty Beard! Kitty Tiger! What a fearsome roar! That's the Beastmaster. It must be a master beast in you, who says it must be. I'll have to avoid saying must in the future. Oh hell, now it's gonna start his counterattack. Damn, already half our team is dead. God. What's even the point of a peel guard? Here 
Oh, we did some damage, but it's not enough. Oh boy. Ready to become one. Oh. Oh boy. Now we'll what about swinging only one Teo. That's not too bad, I guess. I'll take it. If, seriously, these this hit point bonus is the only saving grace here, and even then I still got a single KO. Anyways, Water of Madness is actually really good for this because its right stick attack is anti-ferian, I think. And that will allow it to stagger the enemy a little easier. It's a fat cat? My, my, that's pretty rude of you. Prefer the term pleasantly plump. S sorry. Damn, another dead lead. Are you perhaps Morgren? Indeed, I am. Is she famous? She's a high ranking seraph who's a lone wolf, a cat, and is imbued with a powerful blessing. Whoa. Alas, how shameful that you had to see that side of me. This city is filled with the desires of greedy humans. I don't think you should feel responsible for it. No, I must atone for it. Shepard, you are looking for a seraph to bring the blessing to this city, are you not? Um, well, this city is... Pendrago is a big city. It's impossible to eliminate all the malevolence, and the church still holds the power. But that means all the more that there are those who would cry out for salvation. They're just turning to seraphim out of desperation. Yet, are the people's wishes not genuine? I can still maintain the blessing with them. But still, you could become a Hellion again. I've got an idea. Why not use the Church's authority against them? Wait, do you intend to filter human prayers? Pretty sneaky. I've been pondering over the role of the blessing in human society. Any conclusion? It doesn't really do anyone any favors if I just take their prayers and give them the blessing in return. Hmm, <laughs> quite a lot of stress for nothing. To coexist with humans in peace, there are many things that Seraphim must be conscious of. I see. I hope the Seraphim you're thinking of will notice as well. Oh, what a quick-witted lass. Huh? You're not talking about yourself? You mean another Seraph, yeah? I truly hope they notice me and my efforts. We understand your idea. We'll try and find an appropriate vessel for you. Is the inscription of the Shrine Church still there? If we use that, I should be able to maintain a good distance with the believers. It's still there. Please, Morgrim. Shepard, I know I have said much. But remember that I do not distrust humans. It's just that... Humans and Seraphim need to know where they stand on the issues. Yes, indeed. Both parties shall. Morgrim sure is the cat's me. I mean, quite a person. Yeah, even though she looks so fat, and I mean proportionate. Malevolence, prayer, enshrinement, giving the blessing. We Seraphim ought to reconsider how we interact with humans. 
like Morgrim has. We humans should do the same for Seraphim. I think making that effort is the first step for peaceful coexistence, both for the Seraphim and humans. But even Morgrim became a Hellion. Reality is cruel. Yeah, so are you. Let's not get too idealistic just yet, though, huh? Right. There was so much malevolence in Pendrago that even Morgrim couldn't handle it by herself. We can't ignore that fact. Maybe there's a reason why. A reason that might have something to do with the overflowing malevolence. You may be right. We shouldn't leave it all to Morgrim, and be sure to check up on her once in a while. Yeah. Blessing for Pendrago has been restored. Hmm. Beast Master. Seems to prefer to rush in for close combat. I suppose that's not a problem as long as you don't get hit. Must be nice back there. Should I get you some tea? Anyway, guard, guard, guard. Once you know his patterns, you can start evading. Except in practice, all enemies will just gun right for your mages. They don't, eat, they don't really go for your frontliners at all. It really sucks. So, Lord of Lan, level 13. Hmm. Yes, the Cardinal is being given a state funeral. I shall inform you of the details when they are fully decided. We ask for the cooperation of all our friends in the business community. to all of us to the church how so it's a bit embarrassing but he has been teaching us many of the ancient legends that were once lost to the church literature legends ruins it is quite humbling to realize the true breadth of his knowledge yep that sounds like maven i guess he wasn't faking the whole explorer thing after all oh no i forgot to give him a thank you gift about it. Trust me, you won't mind. No, I really must. Oh, but I am already running late for my church duties. We could bring it to him, if you like. I'm dreadfully sorry. Would you be able to? He said he was heading to the Gatharis ruins to meet with some old acquaintances. Maven said he was going to Gatharis ruins to meet a friend. We need to deliver a thank you gift to Maven. They said he was at the Gafferist ruins to the north of Pendrago. It's a hike, but something we can't handle. Hmm. Whether or not these rumors about the Shepherd are true, it's our duty to take good care of the church. We must make sure the Shrine Church, the site of this recent tragedy, is maintained as a place of repose and healing for the people. Boom. Maintaining the blessing of a large city takes a lot out of you, but it's nice to have a sense of purpose. Uh, I mean, a sense of duty. We cannot allow Colonel Ferdinand's stream to wither. It was she who stepped in to support the church through this difficult time without a pope to guide us. Very mature, isn't he? All that talk of a ghostly white child wandering the shrine church. Now perhaps he'd feel better if we all get together and call him out tell us to banish the ghost. What? I know worrying about uh, uh, doesn't don't get you nowhere, but my man's at the front lines to the east, and I'm truthfully out of my mind.
The bishops were ever so grateful for your support. They say that, that surely everyone's kind thoughts and devotion have reached Nautilus. Except more Grimm's taking care of it now. When, among those ancient prophecies is one that reads, When the sky runs red, the world will be shrouded in evil. Have you properly said your prayers to Maltellus so that time will never come? Legends say that Maltellus is a pure-hearted seraph filled with charity and love for humans. They say that when he appears before humans, he takes the form of a sacred creature made of light. Oh, Sergei has new conversations. I suppose we can use this to lure General Toller over into the peace camp. He's a talented politician, but he's useless when it comes to war. Malfour is just a petty charlatan. I very doubt much doubt he would lay a finger on anyone. But if he does cause problems, we'll sort him out, even if it has to be done outside the law. What shameful act. As your friend, I can only express my regrets. Something should be going on in Godardin, huh? Is it just me? Or does the village have more malevolence than before? I feel it too. Probably everyone's scared of that dude over there. Apparently Shepherd Malfour and the village chief go way back. Something smells fishy to me. I'm gonna study real, real hard and invent a new medicine to cure the village chief. School is fun, uh, great fun, isn't it? The chief teaches us so much cool stuff. Hmm. Another purple mark. Okay. Do you hear the village chief collapse after talking to Malfour the Shepherd? Are you looking for Chief Slenge? Yes, I'm an acquaintance of the chief, and... I'm sorry, but the chief is indisposed right now due to illness and will not be taking visitors. What? He is? But be of good cheer! In the name of the Shepherd, I vow to heal this noble servant of the people! Oh! So you're the shepherd, are you? <laughs> Nothing escapes your eye, my lady. Indeed, I am the renowned, the incomparable Shepherd Malfour. You can't see us in the slightest. All hail the mighty shepherd. I can tell from your unique accoutrements that you wish you were a shepherd as well. Eminently understandable, but I cannot recommend it. The Shepherd's life is one of solitude. He spends his days in constant battle, unappreciated by the world he cherishes. Uh, okay? In any case, rest assured that the village chief is in the caring hands of Shepherd Malfour. Do you think it's malevolence that's causing his illness? Is the chief even sick? I don't trust that guy. But we do know that the amount of malevolence in this village is increasing. Let's start by reviving the blessing of Gadadin. We can worry about the chief after that. Makes sense. That's the real shepherd's job, after all. <sighs> hmm. Oh, sir, if you can hear me, please save the chief. Bestow of us your blessing, I beg you. Somebody, anybody, help our chief. May Godan's blessing be upon him. Well, the one upside is that if this guy gets labeled as the shepherd, maybe he'll take the blame for Cardinal Steph in the long run? Nah. Leave the village chief to me. I would pleasure to do everything in my power. Um, then these kids with their purple star. You suck at lying, liar. There's no such thing. Hey, quit fooling around. Class is about to start. You're making it up. Dirt leeches don't really exist. I really saw, I saw one. A real dirt leech. It was in Yidder Cave. Did that kid have resonance or something? That dirt leech he talked about is a hellion, isn't it? Yes. It's a very troublesome hellion with high vigilance. It'll be difficult to catch it. The haughty nincompoop of a man calls himself a shepherd, but uh, too. But you're the real thing, right? Mm. Oh. 
Red Rosemary. Could we ask Axio for his blessing? He is a protector, Seraph, responsible for the trial. It's probably better to find someone else. I know that's wrong, of course I do, but without that little fake elixir, Godan would not be able to survive. The chief is the only one who knows how to make the fake elixir and what channels it can be sold through. If we restored a blessing, would, these, uh, would they be able to survive without the fake elixir? We, cannot uh, we can't really ambush it. Should I use wider range attacks? If you can hold them back, we'll follow your lead. I'd like to end up all the way on your side. Five shots! Five shots! Five shots! Five shots! I cannot stay in a combo. Six thousand. Oh, uh, just barely got in time for the multiplier, I think. What a formidable opponent! Over a thousand grade, not bad. This will be good for the Lord of the Land. The one with Mystic Art definitely put it up there. <laughs> did I... did I become a Hellion? I'm sorry. I must have caused you all great trouble. No, we're just glad you're alright. My name is Forcia. Oh my! There's an iris gem here! An Earth in Historia! Could we have that? But of course! This is nowhere near enough to show my gratitude, however. No, it's perfect. Thank you. Dear me, what an honorable shepherd you are. If you'd like to thank us, could you maybe give your blessing to a village? It's called Gadadin, and it's very close by. Gadadin? That's the village outside the Shrine of the Fire Trial, correct? Do you have a vessel lined up? Well, uh, we'll find one for you. Alright. 
I'll head over to the village for now. Yellow Iris Gem Odin. Held off minions walk among humans, inciting nations to take up arms against each other. There's that girl who is with him, too. What was that all about? They've started interfering, I suppose. Heldoff's followers are causing mischief in human society. To create malevolence? Sounds connected to what we saw earlier. Right. He was taking advantage of wars to produce Hellions. So he's trying to start another war! But this is a record of the past. That war is probably well underway. He's deceiving everyone! Not quite. I'm sure there are those who have joined hands with him of their own free will. How could they? Unfortunately, we can't rule out the possibility. <sighs> hmm. Giant strength. Hua. I have to use both. Fortunately, there's going to be a bunch of encounters in this room. Oh yeah. Three, four, hundred gold. Punch it. Okay, hat obtained. It's just an accessory. Okay, through here. Hmm. Pound cake. Twenty two hundred gold. Roll cake obtained. Sledge, is it all right for you to be up? Worry not, excitable youngster. Everything has been taken care of. Thanks to the selfless heroism of Shepard Malfour! <laughs> Shepard, I must apologize for causing you concern. However, I am afraid I still feel unwell. Please, excuse me. He's acting strange. Did something happen? That man named Malfour was threatening the chief. I'll expose your misdeeds, you fallen pope, he said. What? How did he know? Malfour used to be a priest, and we already know the church is investigating the fake elixir. Could you explain to me the details of what's going on? I see. So the missing pope was the one producing the fake elixir. Yeah, but it was for the sake of the villagers. Slenge told Malfour the distribution route and formula for making this fake elixir, on the condition that the church will continue to buy vermilion ore. What do you mean? So you're saying he didn't come to intimidate, but to negotiate? Yes, the church will overlook the former pope's crime. In exchange, it will gain control of the distribution channel for the fake elixir. And as the mediator, Malfour will gain prestige and credibility. So Gadadin will finally get legitimate revenue. But they're covering up a crime. 
And now the church itself is going to be selling fake elixir? That's just insane! Uh, uh. Unfortunately, these things happen. Humans need money to live. That's what it comes down to. I don't suppose you're still open to blessing this village? I was thinking that the school building might work as a vessel. What do you think? Entire building? Are you sure? The Pope, I mean the village chief, seems to have recognized that his time is drawing near. Even my blessing cannot forestall the inevitable. Is that why he's trying to secure a revenue stream for the village? I would like to stay a while longer and see what results his determination brings. Thank you, Forcia. You are quite welcome. The results his determination brings. Blessing has been restored. But I didn't spend that much time in this region, I think, so it's not going to be much great. I have a thought. Perhaps it is the purpose of Seraphim to bear witness to the doings of humanity. Level 14, that's not very high. And at least I got the second Norman slot. And drop rate boost. We restored the village's blessing, but Slenge is dying. It's gotta be due to the toxins produced from processing the vermilion ore. Most likely. And he must have known that from the start. He probably wanted this kind of punishment. Because he committed a crime, huh? If that's all true, then there's no need for the scattered bones to get involved. This must be the answer he arrived at. It may sound harsh, but there isn't anything more we can do about this situation. Still, it gets me royally ticked off at the church. And what seraph would tolerate their worship? If that Malfour guy came up with all this, I gotta hand it to him. Pretty good for someone who acts like a quirky bit part in a play. But... He wasn't emitting any malevolence at all. What sort of person is he, exactly? It's got me wondering, too. I think I'll have the Scattered Bones look into him. No malevolence, yet he's also scamming the crap out of everyone. He's most likely trying to uh, raise money for uh, and, giving, uh, and give it to the church. Since he still got his church connections, they must know that he's a fake shepherd. Yeah, so it's probably the church's plan to regain their influence after Cardinal Fortin's death. The Valkyrie, Maltran. What? You know about Maltran? Even if I told you, you wouldn't believe me. My name's Saray. He's the Shepherd. The Shepherd? Truly, I do feel something special about you. I believe this man possesses some resonance, however slight it may be. But shepherd or no, no one has yet to believe a word I say. It hurts when people don't believe you. I understand how that feels. But I found people who would listen to me and believe in me. And that saved me from the pain. My word! So please, tell us your story. Ten years ago or so, I served as a Knight of Rolands in a conflict against the Kingdom of Highland. That is where I encountered her, Maltran, famed as the Blue Valkyrie. Before we could even react, in the blink of an eye, that lone woman had wiped out our entire unit. I turned tail and fled. I had no pride. I simply didn't want to die. As my cowardly legs carried me away, I glanced back at her. But she was being attacked by monsters, great lizards the size of men, wearing the armor of Highland. Hellions! I swear that I saw them. Saw those beasts swarm over her as she fell. And yet... Maltran is still alive. I believe your story. Thank you. You do have the way of the Shepherd about you. 
Show enough. Please take this and continue to care for the people, especially poor lost souls such as me. I will. Thank you. Rose Corsage, an attachment. What on earth was that creature I saw when we escaped from Maltran? That is a concerning rumor. Colonel's been murdered. Apparently it was an Assassin's Guild. What did it? There's a warrant out for their arrest. Miracle worker or not, I guess being the Cardinal it must make you a fair share of enemies. Th those, these people in positions of authority are all uh, the same. The power gets to them sooner or later. So Maltran's fellow knights turned into Hellions and attacked her. Were they jealous of her fame and exploits? People tend to resent those who excel, even if they may be allies. That's even how military officers lose their lives on the battlefield sometimes. That's just brutal. But Maltran is alive, right? I wonder what did happen. How did she survive? She wouldn't be able to defeat a Hellion without purification. Have you heard her s they started arresting those bandit children that have been ambushing the stragglers? It sounds as though recently they've even been attacking transport carriages. With any luck, the crackdown should make the roads a bit safer. Aren't they referring to the group of children we met back then? We should let them know. If the army is after them, they won't stand a chance. That's why I told them to stop. I'm scared for that bandit gang. They're only kids. It doesn't look good for them. I think I need to have to, uh, I need to go have a talk with them again. It's, if it's no trouble, you mind accompanying me to Volgron Forest? There's an awful lot of people talking about how relations between the knights and the church are getting steadily more hostile. It'd be obvious to anybody paying attention that those uh, uh, two were hardly going to kiss and make up anytime soon. I hope there's a, there's no good outcome to this for us regular people. I just hope the emperor does his best to sort it out. I wonder that General and that Malfour guy are... Uh, 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 maybe the reason he hasn't generated malevolence is because he believes that his uh, being uh, faking being the Shepherd will allow him to unite both the uh, uh, the Knights and the Church so that they'll get along better. I heard from a traveling merchant things have settled down a bit in the capital. He said the rain had cleared up too. Oh, how I hope things stay peaceful like this. Seems like there has been some disturbances in the capital as well, and no one's been arrested yet there. I know worrying about it won't do a look of good, but I can't help but wonder what's happening to this country. The Roland's army has started cracking down on those bandit kids who have been attacking soldiers that flood the battlefield. I've heard they've even turned their hands to robbing coaches. I guess they had it coming to them. Since I saw you last, I haven't found a single lead to get me any closer to the truth. Was there anything of the, uh, out of the ordinary you noticed around the time of the incident? Anything at all will do. Still, our collective efforts must not come to waste. I would like to ask for continued cooperation from everyone in the business sphere. He said that for now we should give it time. His opinion is that we should avoid further exa exacerbating the current situation. What are they talking about? Malfor? Fusion is such a pain. Alright, let's head over to Tintagel Ruins. Where on earth could the trial shrines be? Why don't we double check the mural back at the hideout? Okay, something big is going on up there. Oh wow, they're dead. It's the kids. The ones hunting soldiers. They're dead. Did the army do it? Doubtful. They wouldn't leave corpses in the open like this. Nor would they go to such extremes. Who else could it be? Uh, uh... Thank goodness! One's still alive! We did... <laughs> Ray, watch out! Why did you kill them? That girl. Oh no. Could it 
be the chief. Damn, I spell right off the bat. No, we'll deal with that later. We must purify her. Ow. Oh my goodness! Oh, got a good finisher. She was the only one we could save. Yeah, the trick for that one is that it's it's weak to neutral damage, but Armaz normally cannot deal that unless you have the front step tackle ability set up. Then you can just front step into them and and just get the power hit anyways. That's very good against enemies who are only weak to neutral. Oh, he's still breathing. Whoa there, Mr. Shepard. What's going on? Oish! Perfect timing. We need help. Let's start with the treatment. Just leave the young'uns to me. Neither of them have mortal injuries, but they're not waking up yet. <sighs> Did our purification fail? No, it's more of a psychological kind of deal. What on earth could have happened to them? He... he beat us. We did what we were told and lived as bandits. He? So you guys were hired by someone? Yeah. We weren't sure we wanted to keep hunting lone soldiers. Uh, then he told us there was an easier way to make money. We did what we were told and attacked the carrier. And he bought all the stolen freight for a high price. He even promised us that he'd hook us up with legit jobs soon after. So who is this guy? I don't know. Our leader was the only one who talked to him. And I'm not that smart. But we believed in him. 
because we always wanted to have honest jobs. But then he said he was going to destroy all the evidence and send a bunch of soldiers and killed everybody. Destroy all the evidence? We... we were so foolish. I've never been smart, but I'm so disappointed in myself. Please... avenge them. They took all our money, too. We only have this, but... we... In Earth and Astoria. Don't worry. The scattered bones will see your request through. Rose. Hmm. Not bad, but not good either. Only 900 grade. Oh well. I tried. However, I can always just farm grade off screen, even if it was not optimal. I'm so sorry I can't help you. I'm a weak old fool. Yellow Iostrem Tri. Held off faces a dragon in the mysterious land. He's strong enough to defeat the beast. dragon in one hit and a fully materialized one at that what tremendous power <gasps> you saw that mass of malevolence at his back the hellion possessing him is far beyond anything we've ever fought yeah i'll definitely need to get stronger <laughs> that's your reaction i don't know whether to be worried or relieved please get revenge for my friends we don't even... Uh, it was most likely someone within the Roland's army. Could it be that general uh, uh, who, uh, who, uh, that Sergei was complaining about? Hmm. No lord of land unlocked. Wait, is... are you really going to take on his request? Yeah. I mean, I kind of already did. Huh. Are you sure this is okay? I hate to sound harsh, but those children were accomplices in a crime. Yeah, meaning in this case, the mercenaries punished the group of thieves who caused them all this trouble. But, I mean, those kids were just trying to survive. They knew they were doing a bad thing, and they were trying to break free of that vicious cycle. Someone took advantage of that and murdered them. What those kids did was wrong, but even so, the one who betrayed them was just as wrong. Maybe, but... Sorry. I don't know the right answer to this. I'm not blaming you. Sorry if I made you feel that way. And it's not like it's just their problem. Huh? Just don't worry about it. Seriously. I'll totally do the detective work. If it's a Hellion thing, it's all you. Alright. Let's find out who's behind it all first. You got it. Oh yeah, almost forgot. I should ask Agil to look after these kids. So this Lord of Land is covered here. Okay. Iris gems really are beautiful. Too beautiful, more like it. That's why most people think they're just glass or some other kind of decoration. I see. What are they actually made of? It's not a natural mineral. They were most likely crafted through the use of multiple seraphic arts. Even so, it's practically unbelievable that there's something inside that lets you see the past. I wish you could watch anything from the past that you wanted. I'd watch a thousand years of history. Better hope you'd live a thousand years then, because that's how long it'd take. Oh, right. <laughs> that would be hard even for a seraph. 
Both iris gems and ruins are just fragments of the past. What's important is what you get out of them. Because history is the architect of our hearts. Whoa, Miklio! That was a sweet quote. You think so? I'm planning to put it in the book I write one day. Well, aren't you full of surprises? I mean, don't you think it'd be a waste not to pass on our tale to future generations? I would love to read your book, Miklio. I'll give you a copy. Signed, even. Darn. I gotta come up with my own quote and signature. He's in a pod title. Oh, I got Executioner now. Hmm. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Tales of Zestiria. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.